At least they can just park a car everywhere and not worry about it. Knock it over. So it's Sunday. Wait, is it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. Sunday. And we decided to have a little car meet at the, what is this, Marsden Park? Yeah. It's supposed to be like the shithole of Sydney. So. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. It's the, it's the anus <laughs> of Sydney. Yeah. Pretty much. But Jonas is sick. And we're going to see if there's any cars show up. If nothing shows up, then we're going to leave and go home. Yep. And then eat. Yeah, yeah, again, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. oh, yeah. Hello. Hey. How you been? Hi. 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 Thank God you're making me get up. Yeah, that's it, man. It's been a while. I know, right? I don't like the house. twos? How you been, man? Good, good. Uh, okay. Jesus. How many Land Rovers do you have? Oh, that's my ride. Uh, this is my <laughs> sixth Land Rover. Oh, okay. You have to like fold the plate for it to fit. Neil's car? If there's a if there's a 13B in there still, then it's exciting. Oh, nice. I mean, that'd be cool too. I wasn't butt hurt for. You put a K series in there too. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Yeah, That's all the twin turbo and everything. Yeah, so it's a genuine feed cart from Japan. It's nice. One of one in Australia. Oh, you just so, bought it? Yeah, it was a personal import, so. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd you find it? Uh, Auction? It was for sale on the internet and the guy kept changing his mind and I kept getting notifications. Oh. <laughs> and so then who, who, eight months later it came back up for sale and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> so the previous owner imported it? Yeah. Oh, okay. He like owns a dealership here and mm -hmm. imports all his shit. Okay. And got it in for himself. So I've actually found it on auction like in Japan. Mm -hmm. It was on auction and that went to a dealership, Garage R. And now I own it. Yeah. And I'm stoked. So. How do you like it? It's amazing. Is you this could, your first FD you're around? Yeah, so oh, nice. lots of Sylvia's and other shit. Yeah. But nothing compares to it. It's FD. a different experience with a rotary, huh? It's insane. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Maybe a single turbo, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, you can always upgrade if you want. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just cool that Feed did this, so you don't yeah, really so want to touch it. Yeah, so this was built in Osaka by Feed, so... Nice. It's got the full Feed package, so really. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like an old HKS. It's not perfect yet, but it'll get there. Yeah, I mean, cars from Japan are hardly ever perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you, you think they're all great, and then you go to Japan no. and realize how shit they really are. Yeah, a lot of stuff they like kind of throw together, or they drive the shit like, out of it, you the know? The rear so. fenders on the car had tech screws in it, but oh. they're molded inside. Oh, really? So they're over fenders, but yeah. the inside is completely molded to the car. <laughs> so, it's... What's yeah. the point of having over fenders if you can't take them off? It's kind of character. <laughs> Too much. I was running at Power FC still. Nice. Yeah. Needs to be tuned. It's still on 100 octane tune. Oh, okay. We only have like 93 octane here. Yeah. So you haven't touched it since? 
You haven't really done uh, anything. Oh yeah, too. I've done quite a bit like touching up all the dodgy shit. Just fixing all the shit? Yeah. It's I don't know what happened to it, but someone did some dodgy shit to it. Yeah. <laughs> so Yeah, it happens. It yeah. makes for a better story when you finish yeah. it. Yeah. So. Well it, you know, I'm like having to go through the whole car and find what it actually has done to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's got cars 1.5 way LSD, I had no idea. Mm. And like feed coilovers, but they're made by HKS. Yeah, yeah. And like all this that makes shit. a lot of sense. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Given that their whole like setup is yeah. HKS. HKS, but man. It could even have a feed engine that's not known yet. Yeah, you haven't taken it apart yet. It's huh? got a brand new engine. Oh, like, okay. When it was sold in Japan, they said it has super high compression. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what that means? Yeah. But it's new to me. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, cool. Just little touch-ups, like I put the mirrors on it, change the kind of. Oh, okay. What mirrors were on there before? Just stock. Oh, okay. I was trying to get some Ganadors, but it went up to like 2300 Australian dollars. Yeah, Ganadors are getting hard to find now. So I was like, forget it. So I just got craft squares. Nice. But I ordered blue lens and clear yeah. came. What was your name? Owen. Good to meet you, sir. Nice meeting you, Joey. Nice car. Thank you. It's a EK sedan. Yeah, yeah, EK1 here. Never seen an EK1 before. Custom turbo. It's a rebranded Garrett. GCG turbo. Some nice custom work on here. <laughs> cool battery breather setup. The waste game was like coming out of the middle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the yeah, no, yeah. Come down with dodging and whatnot, yeah. Franz's DC2. I got a Mugen front, Mugen sides, Jay's wing. I actually won Best Honda at the Honda Night show that I worked yesterday. 15 by ATEs, and the Ganador mirrors. Good looking car. Looks like a car from California, actually. <laughs> Here's Jay's hood. K24? K20? and everything. Oh, it's close. Nice. If you're single now, you gotta find the hole again. <laughs> Yeah, put your finger in good, there. Good finger yeah. action. Yeah, very yeah. Maybe, maybe my pinky. You spit on your finger a little bit. Is it easier? <laughs> He's switching <laughs> fingers and everything. And... Yeah, there you go. Just gonna get the end. Mm hmm. Oh. 
that. Should I get some Vaseline or? Yeah, you're almost there. It's almost there. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's, yeah, go, go. that's what they all say, yeah. You're always almost there a little bit. I mean, if they're gonna pull you over, wouldn't they say something about your hood anyways? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you gotta try to minimize the risk. How did this happen? I don't know, I bought it already like that. Oh, okay. it, must, it came off a case up, so I'm gonna assume. Oh, so it was rubbing against the valve cover. Mm. Just the usual. So this is a JDM Yard built B18B1. Mm. Mm. Which is like piston rods. Yeah, forged pistons, rods, ported heads, cams, mm. all the goodies. Oh, you got a Toyota header too? Mm -hmm. And yeah, you got some money. <laughs> nice. And then this wasn't, this is somebody else, right? Mm. Uh, guy who does fabrication from his own garage. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I'm seeing all the US builds. It's like mm -hmm. something that I wanted to get done. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. Are you okay, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what is this? It's the like the build it's like an Australian thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I don't think I've never seen it. Yeah. You haven't seen that? Mm -mm. Yeah, it must be an Australian thing. Yeah. So just all cars have a plate like that, mm. kind of like the Vintag as well. Mm. <laughs> Auto Campo. I guess they extended stop. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit more travel. What manifold did you use? Edelbrock. Oh, really? It was donated by a friend. Yeah. Mm. And the whole kit I made up myself. Oh, yeah. Really cool. Uh, even the exhaust. I knew you had the dump pipe, I couldn't make it because it's so tight. Yeah. And it's still on your aircon. Yeah, so it's aircon power steering. Is it pretty quiet? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet. Yeah. See so how you hid the filter right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, NSX airbox sticker as well. Oh, nice. Oh, man. <laughs> it makes about two 10 horsepower at the wheels. Nice, all wheel drive. Yeah. So, fire rips. Different. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. Yeah. This is your daily? Mm hmm. Yep, every single day. <laughs> Gotta have aircon here in Australia. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in the next month. Hmm? Oh, yeah, it's gonna hit the 40s. Yeah. It's an imported EF5 sedan. <laughs> All-wheel drive. You, had to... you say you repainted it and everything? Yeah, so mm. you know, here I had it repainted in the factory polar white. Was it white when you got it? Yeah, it was originally white, but it was pretty rough. Yeah, I mean, it's a winter vehicle that they drive in the snow. So. Yeah, but it's, just, it's been neglected when I bought it. Yeah. Like, it was full of trash, the windscreen was broken. Yeah, but you have plenty of parts, right? From uh, all your other. Yeah, I've been collecting parts. Yeah. Wow, it's really clean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Get a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's like a peep. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Does that make 210? Wow. This is stock motor, this head studs. Nice. And the motor's held up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been turbocharged? Uh, beginning of this year. Oh, okay. So it was a recent thing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, my tuner doesn't have faith in the motor, but I do. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, with the ZC motors, you don't hear them being turbocharged that yeah. often, so. Is the intercooler like? It's really tiny, you can't even see it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, cool. I've done my best to try to hide it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It, I mean, if you just glance at it, you won't even notice. Yeah, exactly. So it just looks like you have a colder yeah. intake. And then, like, the ball valve's hidden like, deep down in there. You can barely see it. Yeah, what is it, like a Gretty? Or uh, an HKS? Turbo or? Smart. Oh, Turbo Smart. Nice. Yeah, you wouldn't think anything of it if you just yeah. saw it. Even the factory ABS2 still works. Yeah. But it's a, it's a tank of a unit. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, if it's all-wheel drive, it's probably slightly heavier than your normal. Yeah. You know. Actually, I haven't put this on the Weybridge yet, but you expect, you know, probably at least 100 kilos more than the factory front-wheel drive. Yeah, okay. Yeah, how cool. Nice job. Thanks. This is a little bumper boner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I think I got stuck. <laughs> 2000. Jay's Fender? Yeah, Jay's Fender, I think. Stop tech brakes. Add Van GT. Oh, this carbon fiber seat. That can't be comfortable. <laughs> APR wing. Got Jay's rear fender flares also. Nice color. <laughs> can take her also has Ganna doors. That's those custom blue blitz type of one wheels. You have hatchback. Work equipped on ones. What, what engine is this? B... Uh, so it's a stock B18 C7, which is a DC2 Type R motor. C7? Yeah, we call it a C7 here, which mm. you guys I think call it C5. Yes. Yeah. So everything's stock. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And the guy that helped you do the engine bay is... Yeah, it's a Ram. The guy that had the turbo all-wheel yeah, drive right, yeah. thing earlier. Nice. Did you just finish this recently? Yeah. Oh, I think a year ago he finished the build. So he like painted the block and everything? Oh, I painted the block. Ah, so what yeah. parts did you do? Uh, I painted the block, I painted the dizzy. Uh huh. Uh, just all the silver bits and I painted the, the intake, intake manifold. manifold. Yeah. Yeah. So I just tidied everything. And then really he... all this AC stuff I painted as well, so I wanted to keep it. Oh, you wanted like the wrinkle and stuff? Yeah. So he put all everything else together for yeah, you? Yeah, he pretty much assembled it all. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that what he just does it for fun? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Or a little bit of business on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This is an ASC strut bar. Yeah, see. so I got that custom made for me and sent over. How long did it take? Uh, took a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. A few months. Yeah. Yeah, because it least. usually takes them a while. Yeah, I got it years ago. Yeah. What else? Waiting. What else are you trying to do with this thing? That's about it. I'm going to take it to the track next month with Renault. Nice. Yeah, first time. Go to Eastern Creek. Uh, I've taken it before with the D series. Uh, this so will be the first time with the B series. So, so the motor's in pretty good shape, then, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. We yes. did all the gaskets, all the seals, everything. Oh, okay, nice. So hopefully it's good to go for a long time. Cool. You're the one that made the flyer for this meet that we have? I did. Nice. Ripped it off. Thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so originally this car was this giant shitbox owned by this guy right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a fast car, it was parted out. It didn't have any front end panels, didn't have any interior. Was it red? It was yeah. red. Oh, okay. Uh, it was like a, a red base model or? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, it had D series in it still. Running on three cylinders. Yeah, and I drove it the whole way home and it was plumes of smoke. Well, did he yeah. give you a good deal on it? Oh, I basically I'd swapped in two jumpers. Oh, oh two nice. Two jumpers and fifty bucks. Oh wow. Well, that's a good deal then. Look at it yeah. now. Yeah. How much would you say you invested on this? Uh probably like fifteen thousand dollars. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice I, 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 yeah, I have to put a ballpark figure on it, it'll probably be it. Nice. Yeah. I like it. It looks it's good. Come along, looks like something you'd see in Osaka, really, oh, with the Type nice. X's and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. 
original EC Works mirrors. Mm. So with your seat. Yeah, so it's a body club. A very faded. Yes, it's really rough. Yeah, because I, I I had it in my I had a skyline before. Oh, okay. I had it in that, which was. What do you have? Like a thirty-two? Yeah, thirty-two. Nice. Yeah, it never ran, so oh. <laughs> I always sat <laughs> okay. it in the sun, and that's why it's faded. Oh, why'd you get into Hondas instead of your thirty-two? Well, I originally had an EM1. Oh. Okay. And then I went to the thirty-two. Can I have EM1s here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. they had heaps of EM1s here. Oh wow, but I not my, anymore, huh? Yeah, my original EM1 was stanced oh, on BBS RS. Okay. And then uh, I went to the Skyline, because we have our P plates here, our provisional. Yeah. And you're not allowed to drive turbo cars. Oh. And after I was allowed to drive turbo cars, I got that car. Hey, look at this. It's yeah. pretty old, huh? Yeah, I've been keeping this for years. Oh. Do you remember when you made them? The brush in them, like yeah. six years ago? Yeah. <laughs> been on ice until now. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a CTR look type, EK9 rear lip, right? Yeah, it's a good looking car. It's a genuine bummer to me. Mm. Yeah, it's almost a little darker than Milano, right? You said lighter? Yeah. It looks darker to me. Milano yeah. should be like uh, more red, I think. Yeah, not sure. Hmm. good. What suspension, Cody? Uh, Skunk 2. Skunk 2? I'm planning to upgrade it. Yeah. What are you going to get? Uh, Reynolds got a set of mon team monitors. Uh, oh. What are you running? And he's going to get Oli. Damn, okay. Yeah. Right. This is a girl eating some food right in front of the car now. It really bums me out that people really like SSR Professor MS3s here because I love that wheel and like nobody in the US likes them but me. I had a set and then I never saw another set anymore and then now in Sydney I just see a bunch of them everywhere. Everybody got them. A great wheel. So RPS 13. Large in here. The rear blisters. The type X wing. How wide that is. Nice car. Olympic Park over here in Sydney, Australia. This is where I've been staying for the last night since uh, I left the hotel area in Chinatown where the Hot and Four Nights guys had me staying. It's a pretty cool apartment complex that is brand new, I think. It's a one bedroom apartment. I ran it as a hotel because I found it through a website. And I, I guess since it's empty and they don't really have much of a use for it, like people just ran out the units as hotels. It's pretty cheap, like 70 bucks a night. So can't complain about that. Beautiful view. Sydney is a, is a great place. It's just, it smells like smoke right now still because they've been dealing with a lot of fires from the weather and the heat. And uh, there was even a travel advisory when I came out here letting people know that you should probably stay inside. But I just wanted to capture this view right here. Pretty cool place. It's like an area that was developed for the Olympics in 2000 and since then they've just continued to build and develop it. Not like some other countries where they just kind of like leave the shit to die, you know? Like the areas usually get all run down and the buildings are just abandoned. Here, um, they're continuing to build this area and it looks great. I like staying here. It's, uh, for the most part, the environment, it feels a lot like LA. People are a little different, attitudes are looking a little different and people, you know, obviously they speak different. But um, other than that, it feels like home. So I kind of feel right at home here. 
Where I live here? Well, probably not. Because I love California. And uh, I guess if I had to live somewhere else, it'd be like Seattle or somewhere in Japan. But Sydney is, is probably on my list if I had to move somewhere. I enjoy it out here. It's a bedroom. I'm working on my laptop last night. For a one bedroom apartment like this, I think it's like not even that expensive. Look out here. The full kitchen and everything. I haven't used it because I'm only here for two nights. The bathroom that I've already used, obviously. And this is living in Sydney. <laughs>